Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about some tips on how to survive the holidays. So for a lot of people, the holidays are a very, very stressful time. And I want to share some of the things that have helped make the holidays a lot more enjoyable for me and also allowed me to continue to make progress toward my goals. Shifting winds, tossing us around again. going to be on the menu so that way you can make a plan and also you can plan for success so that way if you need to plan to do a workout or if you need to plan to bring something with you you have a variety of options that way you can plan for success um, and also have a plan if there is no plan sometimes just already having some decisions already made before you go into something just helps relieve a lot of the stress that's going to be in that environment tip number two make time for yourself. During this time when there's so many things going on, we're spending so much time with everybody we love, we forget to take care of um, one of the most important people in our lives, which is ourselves. Something that I always try to remind my clients and my student athletes and, in, and also myself is that if you do not take time to fill your own cup, you're going to be unable to give from your cup because your cup's going to be empty. So it's very important that you take time to take care of yourself during this time, whether it's in the morning or you do it um, in the evening before you go to bed or whatever the time may be, take time to take care of yourself. It's gonna pay off tenfold for you, okay? Number three, bring food with you, um, whether you're going to a Thanksgiving dinner or a party or a Christmas dinner, whatever the case may be, bring something with you to add to the table. One, that way you're contributing to um, the group as a whole, but two, there's also something on that table that you know what's in it, something that you know that's gonna make you feel good and um, nourish your body and something that you're not gonna be um, like upset about or anything of that sort. I wouldn't say upset, um, something that you know that you, you can eat and that's gonna nourish your body or make you feel good or whatever the case may be. Number four, go back to your routine as soon as the holiday is done. A lot of people will continue to be in this, this mumbo jumbo. They don't take care of themselves. They don't go back to working out. Um, they continue to eat large amounts of all the different foods and then like work themselves into the ground. Don't do that. Go back to your normal routine. Go back to taking care of yourself. Taking care of yourself. Go back to eating some of your regular foods. If you want, incorporate some of those foods into your, your meal plan for the rest of the week so that way you can have it in moderation versus eat a giant large amount of food at that time. I don't know what number we're on, but we're moving on to the next tip. So the next tip that I have for you is to enjoy the foods that you like during the holidays and not to avoid them. So the biggest thing that I like to do is to put, the, put foods on my plate that I know are gonna nourish my body and help me feel good, but then I'm also going to eat the foods that will nourish my soul and as well, which are gonna be some cookies and some desserts and some other foods that are either tradition or whatever the case may be. So find those foods that you want, put them on your plate and then walk away from the table to enjoy them and enjoy the conversation that is going on. You can always go back for seconds, but always make sure that it's because you are hungry um, and that your body has that craving. So take time to eat your food and really enjoy it. That food will always be there. You can always come back to it, okay? The next tip kind of feeds into this a little bit. So make sure you're eating foods that fuel your body through this process. So before I have um, a meal uh, through like a holiday, I try to make sure I eat foods that make me feel good leading up to there, fruits, vegetables, lean protein sources, I drink plenty of water, so I'm doing everything to take care of my body, so that way if I eat some foods that are not normally on my uh, routine, that it doesn't make me feel bad. It nourishes my soul, and also it nourishes my body, and that way I can get back to my routine um, afterwards. My second to last tip for you is to move your body. A lot of times during these holidays, we, can, we sometimes can be very sedentary while we're talking and discussing, which there's nothing wrong with, because 
part of the holidays is to spend time together. But try to incorporate some movement if possible. Play a game with the family outside. Go for a walk as a group. Or go do a family workout or a friend's workout. I know we had Friendsgiving when I was in college and that was one of my favorite things. And we would go do things afterwards or we'd go for a walk. We'd find a way to be active. So find a way to be active, whatever it may be, so that we one, you can move that body that move that food through your body and two, that food is put to use. So sometimes um, I like to go and get a workout after one of those meals because it makes me feel really good and I have all this energy and I can lift all the weights or as one of my friends say, she can run all the miles or whatever the case may be. So move your body during this time and try not to be sedentary. And my last and most important tip for you for surviving the holidays is to enjoy the moment. That's the wonderful thing about life is that the only thing that is guaranteed is right now. We can't change yesterday. We don't know if we have tomorrow. All we can do is be present. And so we need to enjoy the time that we have during this time and use it to our advantage and to, to be there and just live it and have fun. Because we're not always gonna have these opportunities or we're not always gonna be able to have these people around us. So enjoy it while you have them there and then just take care of yourself in the process. So I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any tips as well, please put them in the comment comments below. Also let me know whatever video you want to see next. And until next time, bye.